Hi, I'm John, SDR Play, and today we're going to look at the latest SDR Play SD card image software package that can be downloaded to run on your Raspberry Pi to uh, connect it to an RSP1A. Computers have for some time now enjoyed easy access to the audio spectrum with the use of microphones and the visual spectrum thanks to the camera. Now it's the turn of the radio spectrum. With an SDR Play RSP1A and this SD card, you will give your Raspberry Pi access to the radio spectrum up to 2 GHz. It will also give you a number of useful radio signal processing applications. All you need for this is a Raspberry Pi 3, Model B or B+, an SDR Play RSP and a spare SD card. In this example, we had access to a Windows laptop connected to the internet with an SD card slot for flashing the image onto the SD card. And here's the list of software that will be loaded onto the Raspberry Pi. It includes Cubic SDR, which is a standalone SDR receiver software. It has the GNU Radio Companion software, which is ideal for developers creating their own SDR architectures, as is GQRX. We have ADSB, which is the uh, Dump 1090 based uh, 1 gigahertz flight data uh, receiving software. And there's a standalone DAB receiver, the QT DAB. And there's also a TCP server from F4. FHH for remote uh, SDR access. So the first thing to do is get your micro SD card. We're using a 16 gigabyte card, although the software currently will just squeeze onto an 8 gig. Um, in our example here, we used uh, we had access to a Windows laptop connected to the internet that had the standard SD card slotted it. So we also needed the little uh, adapter. We then went to www.sdrplay.com to the download section and clicked on the Raspberry Pi tab and the RPI3 image. This takes you to the link on the SDR Play forum with the latest up-to-date information about the release. Uh, if you scroll down, it will take you to a clickable link for the img.xz file that you need to download. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, this might take 10, 15 minutes or so uh, to download. So now you've got a copy of the image file safely on your PC and all we've got to do now is uh, flash that onto the SD card. To do this, download uh, some flash software. Uh, we used uh, Etcher, which you can get from www.balina.io slash Etcher. And then just uh, follow the guide for uh, flashing the SD card. Start by selecting the image file that we saved, and then the drive into which the SD card is going to be put, and then you're ready to hit flash. Notice how this image file is just under 8 gigabytes, uh, so with our 16 gig card we've got uh, more than enough room. This uh, flashing process may take, uh, say, 10 minutes or so to complete. So once you've successfully copied the image, you can take the micro SD card out of its carrier and slot the card into the Raspberry Pi. Make sure you've got your mouse and keyboard and monitor peripherals connected, as well as from one of the USB ports, a cable to the RSP1A. And here you see the RSP1A with the 
USB cable coming in on the left, connected to the coax connector, the little antenna socket, the SMA socket on the right is a length of coax which then goes to an outdoor wire antenna which is pretty good all the way from long wave up to uh, certainly into VHF frequencies. So now it's time to switch on the power and the first screen you should see is a blue screen with the words SDR play in the bottom right hand corner. And then a few seconds later up comes the welcome screen for easy play. Select easy play and then up comes the menu with all the software successfully loaded and we're going to start off just to have a quick look at cubic SDR. So uh, click on cubic SDR and because we've got the RSP1A already collected it will appear in the local devices list. Uh, highlight SDR play and then click on start. And this will launch Cubic SDR, which is capable of tuning anywhere from 1 kilohertz up to 2 gigahertz with a range of uh, demodulators to cover FM, AM, uh, SSB and so on. So that was Cubic SDR. We also have links to video help and documentation on most popular software programs on our website if you go to sdrplay.com and uh, click under support you'll see the applications and support catalog which has a searchable index to a lot of popular um, documentation helpful documentation and support videos uh, both from SDR play and also from uh, the community. Uh, now let's uh, have a quick look at uh, GNU radio so click on uh, GNU, GNU radio and up pops a, a welcome to GNU radio companion screen and over on the bottom right hand side of the screen you'll see a plus sign against um, <coughs> SDR play so click on the plus sign and that will reveal the list of uh, RSP source blocks. Since we're using an RSP1A, uh, select RSP1A. And up comes the RSP1A source block, uh, ready for adding into your own SDR architecture within the GNU Radio Companion. So there we are, a couple of examples. It really is that easy to download an SD card and uh, bring the radio spectrum to your Raspberry Pi. This uh, picture here uh, shows uh, a concept project we did uh, a few months ago um, using a Pi Top. And a Pi Top is a Raspberry Pi based uh, complete laptop computer kit for developers and educators and students and um, it's, uh, it's particularly useful if you don't want all those loose cables and wires you've got a project you want to get out uh, out and about with and um, we were able to take the RSP1A circuitry out of its box and uh, integrate it into a PyTop. If you want to know more about that project just google PyTop SDR play but that's just one example of um, what you can do uh, with a Raspberry Pi and SDR software. Here's an example of a nice shortwave station coming in from Germany here into the UK just a piece of wire Raspberry Pi RSP1A and Cubic SDR, just one of the software packages that comes in the downloadable SD card.